<laughs> creativity is one of the best and most important superpowers for everyone not just a few. How many times have I heard, but I'm not creative? Hmm, <laughs> but you are. Hi, this is Christy Karate, Mastering the Art of Life. And today, Christy's clarity is about the law of creativity and how it applies to everyone. We meet every week at 1010 on Friday mornings to get you going for the rest of the weekend and into next week. And we have been studying my, I've been sharing tips from my book, Beyond the Box, and that's creative thinking at coaching. Uh, that's, uh, sorry, that's creative thinking expanded. And what I've done in this book is use the art principles to explain the life principles. And this month we've been talking about color and color is the color is the passion that you put your thoughts into or the sadness or the whatever emotion and that causes that thing to come out into the universe into your life uh, through that filter okay and so today we are talking about uh, in the law of color is the the universal law the law of creativity and how can I say that everybody is creative when I can't tell you how many times I get people calling me to say, uh, I call me and say, oh, but I'm not creative. In fact, I do these things called intuitive wisdom drawings where I do the drawing and people love that because they say, oh, you're the artist. I'm not creative. But you know what? We are creating in every, every moment. So here's a quote from my book and it's by Ernest Holmes, and it says, the universe is always creating anew. Spirit thinks, let me put this up here so I'm not looking down at them. Spirit thinks and the world comes into being. Likewise, all human accomplishments originate in thought. Our human thinking process is a reflection of the divine creative process in microcosm. So what does that mean? Every thought you think creates something, creates an equivalency of the thought plus the emotions that you have going on, whether it's an emotion about that thought or maybe just a, 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 a way of being in the world. Okay, so <clears throat> what do I want to tell you about this? Okay, so I'm gonna tell you the system of how this works and then we'll talk about what you can do about it. Okay, so our thought comes into our thinker, if you will. Uh, the thinker goes through, the thought goes through the passion. I just always hold this here for some reason or the emotion that you're having. And that emotion causes us to move into action to then create the result out in the world. It brings it into formation. And that isn't just some thoughts. That is every single thought you think, right? So um, it was uh, Thoreau that said, stand guard at the portal of your mind. That means do not let any thought cross the portal of your mind if you don't want to create it. So. Um, <clears throat> there's this a lovely man that uh, c would come to, I'd go speak up in um, Clear Lake uh, every, about every quarter, and he would always be there, and he would just love to talk about his heart attack. He had a heart attack, and he survived it, and he loved talking about it. And I said to him, don't ever let that thought cross your threshold of your mind or most importantly your lips and he was like wow and so he stopped and the next time I came up he says I haven't talked about it at all and then the next time I saw him he says well I've kind of been talking about it and I said well what why are you talking about it now and he says well because now I'm coming from a place of helping other people so that changed the reasoning 
of why that changed the feeling tone that that thought was going through and now he is helping people that allows him to move into action it allows the people that he shares it with to move into action and that begins creating a result of people avoiding you know running into the situation that he ran into of having a heart attack so how do how do you begin creating what you would love in your life it's through your thoughts and in order to do that the primary practice that i work on with my clients is to start paying attention to those thoughts do you know they just come through us they come through us because we have been had them ingrained in us for so many years right so when people decide that that they don't like something and they start kind of you know hating on it they're actually creating more hate when really what they wanted to create was more love now Ernest Holmes who I quoted earlier also said to be for something and against nothing and I've said that before here on Christie's Clarity and it's a tough one right because wait we have to be we have to be against think about the against energy what if you were for what you would love and that you responded and reacted to everything from that place of what you would love to create more of for example say you're in a, a challenge with uh, a friend and uh, and you are you know up in the emotions and everything like this you create more of that but when you think I am for that person I love that person very much I really care about our friendship then you are able to start responding to that person from a loving place you think about them in a loving place and then you begin generating more loving kind not only not only like the results but the energy out in the world. It's the same with our politics. If you don't like a, politi a politician or a political stance or something, and you want to fight against it, that is a, a, that is a fight energy. If you want to be for the thing that you would love, then you create a positive energy and a way to make positive change plus okay you see the butterflies up in my, my background here right there's the thing called the butterfly effect okay and this is some kind of scientific uh, uh, fact or something i think you can look it up on the internet but they discovered that a, a butterfly flapping its wings in argentina can actually change the effect of what is uh, the weather is in England okay so what you think actually goes out in a frequency right we have radio frequencies we have microwaves we have all of these things going on you get to direct at least your thoughts and your frequencies by making sure you are for something and against nothing okay and it's really about the energy you put behind what you think. Now, let's get back to the idea of creativity and creating the thing that you would love to create in your life. Well, what if you want to... <clears throat> Actually, my mentor used to tell this story. She would say, as an example for teaching this type of thinking, she would say, what if you wanted to take a cruise, that you wanted to cruise the Mediterranean and you wanted to get paid for it, right? And you wanted to get paid, let's say, $10,000 for going on a cruise and, and um, getting paid for it in the Mediterranean and that you wanted to make $10,000 doing this. Well, she was using this as an example, okay? Then, and, and how to hold the frequency of that thought, right? And, but in her mind, the thoughts, she actually got a call from a program that was cruising the Mediterranean who asked her to speak and be there. So even though she was using it as an example, it still manifested, right? It still became into reality because she used the thought so many times. She used the thinking so many times. Now, we all know the power of vision boards. And what's really important about a vision board is not to go to the image and go, 
oh, that's what I would like my life to be. That was what was a little bit of the challenge around, you know, uh, the secret and creating vision boards and kind of all of that was what's really important, which I talked about a month or so ago, is the law of vibration, two months ago. The law of vibration is what's, no, last month. <laughs> the law of vibration is what's most important. So I, why I'm looking over here is I have my vision board up here, right? And through the image, we can create a feeling tone. But if we go, oh, that's where I'd like to go, guess what? That's going to happen in the future. But if we go, I am the vibrational frequency of that. So on my vision board is, you know, a couple having a lovely relationship. And I do have a lovely relationship with my husband. And then there's like uh, people sitting around a circle uh, with a, a wisdom person. And I can go, yeah, someday I'm going to be there. Then there's this big table of people eating a dinner. Oh, yeah, someday I'm going to be there. Right. Instead of I am the person who and this came about through my travel programs that I do. I just got back from Italy in April, taking a group for transformation and uh, using creativity. They're able to paint or hike or whatever to help create the vibrational frequency of La Dolce Vita, the sweet life. And I had this experience of people actually sitting around the table like this and creating that experience through my travels because I held the vibrational frequency of this is the truth of me. So today, for this next week, until I meet with you again on Christie's Clarity, think about, pay attention to your thoughts, and then create the thoughts, and only the thoughts that you want to create and manifest in your life. Look forward to seeing you next week. Christie's Clarity. Talk to you then.